This short video is from a comprehensive course on Udemy. In this video, we'll be looking into the world of AI-powered presentations. We'll see just how this technology can transform the way we create and deliver the various projects we're tasked with. Whether it's for work, school, or whatever you need, we'll see how it's possible to craft compelling, engaging, and visually appealing presentations using AI. It's probably safe to say that most of us, at one time or another, have had to create an engaging presentation for some type of project. This task can be daunting, especially under tight deadlines. However, under high pressure or laid back circumstances, this is where AI can step in as your personal design assistant. We can generate full, engaging slideshows with content that resonates with our audience. These intelligent systems can assist us in structuring our presentations, creating an outline that flows logically and effectively communicates our message. Many AI platforms even offer voice narration capabilities. So if you don't want to speak, you don't have to. And they get better and better by the day. Before long, you might not even be able to notice it's an AI voice. Pretty sure you have a human talking now though. Or do you? One of the biggest advantages of using AI is the speed. These tools can greatly accelerate the presentation making process, and this can be crucial when working against the clock. AI is intuitive and efficient, making the design process much less complex. So what's the bottom line here? Even if you don't have the design skills of a seasoned graphic artist, using these AI platforms can help you create visually appealing presentations. They ensure that your final product will look polished and professional, and when the time comes, capturing your audience's attention while making a good impression. Now, there are several platforms out there in the realm of AI presentation design. Beautiful AI, Dectopus, I think I said that right, and Tome are just a few. Each one has its own features and unique strengths. So it's good to check them out and find which one better aligns with your specific needs. For the purposes of this video, we'll be taking a look at Tome. So before we hop into our Tome demo, just take a look at the screen here and you'll see just a few of the many features that makes Tome a great AI presentation generator. So now let's take a look at Tome. And here we are at the landing page and you'll see that URL pop up on your screen. As usual, just type that into your browser and it'll bring you here. And just like the other platforms we've looked at, you need to create an account to use Tome and you can do that here or you can slide up on over to the right hand corner here and sign in or try Tome there. But first, I want to look over here. Now I like these options that they have here along the top of the screen. So if you're trying to decide which AI presentation generating platform to use, well Tome makes a great case here as they give you some examples of use cases. Are you involved in marketing, sales, education? Well Tome wants to let you know if you're in these fields, We've got a great product for you. Let's show off. Let us show you what we can do. And then you can head over here and look at the various templates that they offer that cater towards those specific groups. It's always good to know where the resources are. And right here, if you click on this and read what they have to offer, you can see that everything we've been learning in these videos from the beginning up until now, it all comes back to that prompt generation process. The information that you feed into the system, whether you're using ChatGPT+, whether you're trying to create an image with Dolly 3, or right here with Tome, it's going to have a direct effect on the end product you get. And I imagine how happy or unhappy you're going to be with it. So now I'm going to slide on back down here, click this. And much like we've seen with the other platforms, you can continue with the account creation process using your Google account, or you can slide down here, use whatever email address you want, create your password, and then continue on with the process that way. As you work your way through the account creation process with Tome, it'll walk you through a few questions, and eventually you're going to get to this screen. And like many of the other platforms we've looked at, you have a couple different options as far as whether you want to move forward using the free account or the paid account. And here you'll see that the pro account with Tome is $16 per month and you have access to these features. And the free, you have these features. And remember, with a lot of the free accounts that we see on these platforms, you do get access to the system, but it's very limited 
compared to what you can do with the paid versions. All right, so we finished that sign up process and we're in Tome and we're ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll start by going over the options on the left hand side of the screen here. And down in the bottom left hand corner, you can see that since I'm using the free account, I have 500 AI credits left. And if I want to change that, I just go right here and get myself some unlimited credits. So now I'll head on up here. This option right here is where I can invite teammates into whatever project I'm working on. This is essentially the trash can where I can put deleted projects. This is great right here. This templates area really shows us how many options we have as we kickstart our presentation when we decide which creative direction we want to run with. And we do have a lot to work with here, as you can see. So now I'll head back over here. This is the workspace that I created, and we all had to do that as we set up our Tome account. As you can see, mine is super califragilistic. More bonus points to you if you know what that's from. Right up here, we can access the projects that have been shared with me from other people. Right here, these are the projects I've been working on personally just for me. Here's what I've been up to recently. And right here, if I've received any notifications, this is where I go to check those out. Lastly, if I click on my name, I can log out here, and this gives me access to settings. So right here, if I click on this, it'll show me my name, my email, my preferred language. Right here, again, this is my workspace name, and it even gets a URL. Back to this, I can upgrade to Pro if I want. This is where I can go to manage the different members that I've brought in on a certain project, and I'm the admin of that group. Next down, I can choose my branding. And right here, you'll see that they're trying to sell me a paid account again. So now, let's create a presentation. And to do that, I'm going to head to the upper right-hand corner of the screen and click Create. And that will bring us here. And right off the bat, we are presented with a bunch of different options as we begin to build this presentation from scratch. So right here, what would you like to do? I can tell the Tome AI, hey, this is why I'm here. This is what I want to start working on. Help get me started. Right here, I want to create a presentation about kangaroos, about European history. Maybe I want to add a page to my presentation. Right here, I can add a document. I can even generate an image. And as I continue to scroll up, you can see the various options that I have. There's definitely a lot here to work with to make this presentation stand out. So here's what I'm going to run with. I want to create a presentation about the benefits of learning AI tools. So I typed this prompt into the chat bar. It gave me these two options. And so I'm just gonna click here. All right, so really quickly, it generated an outline for me with a title, and this is where it really starts to get interesting. So way up here on the top, we've got our title, Benefits of Learning About AI Tools. And then it has already broken this presentation down into different settings. So number one, understanding AI tools. Up next, enhanced problem solving skills. Number three, improved decision making. And if I slide on over here, I have three other options. Right here, if I say, nope, I want number three to be number four in this lineup, I can just grab it, move it down. Right here, if I say, you know what, there's something I just thought of and it needs to be a part of this presentation, I can click here and I can enter in my title. But if I don't want to do that, I just click minus. And you know, if I don't want this particular subject heading at all, I can click the minus button again and it'll go away. So if I head back down here, if I took a look at this whole thing, I chewed it over in my head, and I said, you know what, I don't like the direction this is heading, just click Regenerate, and it'll come up with a whole new outline for you. Right here, if I click this, it's going to generate all pages for me. And right here, I can choose Layouts. So let's start with that. So these are the initial layouts that it gave me for page one. And page one is basically just the title, right? So I'm just gonna keep it as is. But if I want, I could click on this, and this would be my title page. Or maybe I want this AI robot on the title page so I can click on here. So if I like what I see, and I wanna move on, I can head to the next page. And you can see that Tomes AI is already beginning to generate content for my presentation on the benefits of learning about AI tools. 
So this is page two. And again, I could decide to keep on with this robot theme. And look, we've got pictures. We've got content. So if I don't like any of these options, I can click on this. But I'm going to go ahead and just generate all pages and see what the AI does for me. Okay, so the Tome AI went ahead and made the first section of my presentation on the benefits of learning about AI tools. Continuing with the whole robot theme, and if I slide on over here, I can see that I have five pages to check out. So I already helped choose this one. So let's look at the ones that it chose for me. So this is page three, basic, but I can edit this if I want. And you can see I've got content here, page four, and page five, we get the robot theme brought back in. Now, if I want to add an extra page, I can head down here and do that. And if I slide back over here and I click on this, this brings me back to the place where we started. And I can go ahead and run with any of the options that I see here. So now I'll head over to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And this is just the help area, basically, if you're hitting a problem. You need the support guide or you need to contact Tome directly. And there's even an option to schedule a personal tour of Tome. And they've got a get started guide here. So you might want to check that out. But then as we work our way up the right hand side of the screen, we have a few more options to take this presentation and send it off in the creative direction that we want it to head in. So right here, I can set the theme. And I have many different options. I went with the moss option because I'm a sucker for green, but I can change that here if I want. Next up, I can add tiles. Here, depending on the presentation that I'm giving, I can add a chart. I can add a table and put more information in here. I can add shapes. I can add media to this. I can search for something, upload something, even generate an image. So I've decided I do want to add an image to this. So I entered in my prompt, add a picture of a robot on lunch break. And let's see what kind of image it generates for us. So here we go. I can add any of these robot pics to my presentation. And let's zoom in on one of these because I'm curious as to what they have a robot eating. All right, this guy eats healthy. He's got a salad going on there. And then lastly, if I want to add text of any kind to this page, I can go ahead and do that here. The next section to touch on is here in the upper right hand corner. Now the play button, when you've finished the project and you want to run through the whole thing and check it out, or when you're just ready to give the presentation, just go ahead and hit play and it will cycle through what you've done. Over here, these three dots bring up some options, duplicate, rename, export to PDF. Notice you need the pro account for these. I can undo an action, redo, delete. Then heading back up here, if I want to share this project, this is where I go to do that. Next, if I want to record narration, much like I'm doing now, this is where I can go to do that. Right here, if I want to add comments to this project on this particular page, or for the project as a whole, this is where I can do that. And maybe if I've brought other people in on this project and we're collaborating on it, this is a good way just to work together effectively. And then this right here, this is my personal profile. Well, after all that, I have a seven page presentation ready to go. And of course, I can dive deeper into this, add more content, go back and forth with the AI to make this presentation even better aesthetically, as well as maybe embedding a link or adding a video pulling things in from the internet. You saw all the options we have to work with, but I just want to play this really quick and cycle through it. So if I hit the play button, it goes into play mode and I can click on the screen here and send it to the next page or I can put the mouse off to the side and I can just go to my keyboard and hit the arrow keys and it'll cycle through. So I'll exit out of this, then I'll slide on over to the upper left hand corner. And this brings us back to my recent projects area. And you can see down here, this is what I've been working on. So trust me when I say it would be really easy to keep diving into the different features, go back into that 
presentation that I just made, add this, add that, maybe go in, switch the templates around, generate more images, produce more content. But what I really wanted to do was just give you a taste of what AI can do when it comes to generating presentations. It really has changed the game. If you have a presentation coming up for work, for school, maybe this is something that you do regularly, these platforms that help you generate presentations with AI are going to be a big help for you. So whether you're pitching to investors, teaching a class, or preparing to present on whatever topic it might be, AI is here to ensure your presentations are top-notch and make a positive impact. In the next video, we'll be diving into the world of AI video generation.